हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल माई प्रोजेक्ट आइडियाज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अ जावा प्रोजेक्ट टू कैलकुलेट परसेंटेज यूजिंग स्विंग लेट इज बिगिन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी द रिक्वायरमेंट्स यू विल बी रिक्वायरिंग अ जावा आई डी यू कैन चूज एनी आई डी ऑफ योर चॉइस एंड स्विंग मॉड्यूल टू क्रिएट दी जी यू आई लेट एस नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दी वर्किंग ऑफ द सोर्स कोड ओके so i have already created the panel to create one let's go over here in the package right click here click on new click on swing ui designer then click on gui form it will generate two files first one for coding the dot java file and dot form file to design the form to design it i have used the jtex field j label and j button which you will get it from here to see how it looks right click over here and click on preview okay it looks like this then you uh, you need to get this method it's a getter for panel 1 i have named this panel as panel 1 which you will be requiring in the main method to Uh, showcase this panel while the program runs. So I have created here a main GUI method. Here we are creating an object of the main screen, and that uh, calling the get panel one method from the main class, main screen class. And this is some boilerplate code you will be requiring. And then on running this, you will get. this screen the code works fine now let's uh, move on to the working of the buttons for the functionality uh, right click over here add the functionality on clicking on create listener it will add some code over here and now you can add uh, the code which gives the functionality to the button uh what i have done here is uh, taken this x1 label from here i have named this text field as x1 and getting this text and equating is it to null or empty and then doing the same to y1 which is the second field and testing if it's null if uh, the fields are null then showing the dialog box which says enter value to calculate and similarly checking the same text field if the first field is greater than the second then showing the dialog box value of first field must be less than the second and finally if it passes all the tests i am just uh, using the percentage formula and taking the parsing the uh, text strings to double and saving the formula in a variable and then converting back to string and uh, formatting it so that it uh, it will return two decimal pointer up to two decimal points and then setting z1 which is the j label to my answer which is a1 okay let's test the code if it's empty it gives this okay it's working if this field is greater okay it's working and if okay it's working now let's moving on to the next button functionality right click over here go to create listener similarly it will add the code over here and similarly i have added this code to check whether the uh, fields are empty or not or if it's uh, less than 0 or greater than 100 first field is less than 0 or greater than 100 and if it passes these tests then i am just applying another percentage formula 
and uh, storing it and similarly setting the text to z2 label okay let's check so 20 percent of thousand will be 200 okay we are getting the answer correctly i hope you understand the working of the code thanks for watching subscribe to our channel for more interesting ideas